so I'm gearing up to make my first test run of uh, the, the new Haas TM1 mill actually cutting some steel I've been fooling around with it a little bit I have a little block set up here it doesn't want to focus does it I have a little block set up in the vise and I'm going to do some uh, contouring and some pocket milling and some facing and uh, we'll see what happens so here we go So here's that that part hot off the mill. There it is, still a little bit hot. Definitely have to get some flood coolant running there. And it turned out pretty good. Um, you can tell by the tool marks uh, in the bottom and on the surface finish um, where I faced off the part. Definitely was working with a a duller end mill. Uh, the uh, side finish is pretty good there's a little chatter on the front side or I think that was the back side yeah it was you could actually hear it it's supposed to be two and a quarter by two and a quarter with a two inch uh, hole um, ID and then a post with a half inch uh, OD so see how we did. Three thou over. One thou over. One nine nine four about six thou under. And five oh three so three thou over I find that pretty amazing that's the first real part I ever made on that mill um, with a you know like again not the freshest end mill um, just using all the tool offsets and everything uh, oh and it's supposed to be a half inch deep just get a quick idea of how well we did there 508 interesting I used a piece of paper to set the the uh, offset so uh, that's probably four thousandths of that right there so that's probably within four thou too that's just amazing to me um, and again I'm, I'm kind of happy about the fact that uh, you know I bought this mill used and you never know it, you know it, it it didn't appear to have a whole lot of uh, use on it but you know you just never know until you run something so I have a lot to learn about speeds and feeds and linking and cutting depth and chip loads and all that kind of stuff 
but uh, yeah, we're pretty tickled with that. Okay, that's all for now.